they would have to remove their armor and take their a small knife, I don't remember what the name of the knife was, but then they would have to stab themselves with it. What is up, my wonderful little pups? And welcome to another episode of SSS Veda, Vlog Every Day in April. It was a challenge established by Amy Schmittauer of the Savvy Sexy Social Group. The talking point of the day is, have you ever visited another country? And uh, share your favorite memory if you have. If you haven't, though, where would you like to visit? Now, I, personally, would love to go visit Japan. Because Japan is one of those culture-rich countries that I just feel like I would adore going to. Like, everything would fascinate me. I love everything about the Japanese culture. I love Japanese movies. I love anime. I love manga. Everything that I can think of, really. Like, when I used to watch a lot of documentaries as a kid. One of the documentaries that I watched a long time ago was about the samurai. Fascinated with samurai. Like, you would not believe. They were only ever loyal to one master. They protected him no matter what. They would die for him. And if they ever disgraced themselves or were disloyal to him, they would stab themselves as a way of redeeming themselves. Like, if they failed their master and their master died to someone, they would have to remove their armor and take their a small knife, I don't remember what the name of the knife was, but then they would have to stab themselves with it. And I guess that was, that was either a way to regain their honor or it was a way of repaying for their failure kind of thing. I'm not really sure. I watched that documentary a long time ago. I've just loved everything about Japan. I mean, I've never even been there. But I feel like if I ever did get to go there, that would probably be my absolute favorite place to go ever. See, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. This original origami kimono has been folded from a traditional pattern that is more than 100 years old. The image uses Japanese yuzen paper, which mirrors the fabric patterns of kimonos and other unique Japanese papers. It is an original work of art signed with the artist's red seal. And there's like some backstory. Joan's son's interest in origami began in 1964 when a girlfriend taught her to fold the traditional crane. She debuted her art in the windows of Tiffany and Company in the spring of 1933. Her work has been carried by several museum shops, including the National Gallery of Art and the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., the Art Institute in Chicago, and the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. She is a member of the National Organization Origami USA. It is her mission to extend the beauty and magic of origami further into our world. And on the back, that's everything that I read. And then her little, her little signature. I think this is probably one of the coolest things that I own. Hair is doing all kinds of weird things. Japan, man. Coolest place ever. Other places that I might like to visit would be, like, Ireland, because I am part Irish. Um, it's a very small part. One of my great-great ancestors was Irish. I've got Scottish and German and French and who knows what else. <laughs> I'm just a mix of everything European, it seems. I would like to visit Australia one day, for sure. I'd like to go to Sydney, Australia, just to see what that place looks like, because apparently it's beautiful. I want to see the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. I mean, I've never even been to the ocean, so of course I'd want to see a giant reef in the ocean. <laughs> Paris, France. London, England. Because I want to see the Eiffel Tower, and I want to see Big Ben, and China. I want to go so many places, but you kind of have to have money for that, which I don't have. And I can't afford to, like go on trips and then put myself into debt in order to go to those places. I'm stuck in America. In fact, I might even be so stuck I can't even see the ocean. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me know in the comments if you're, you know, just one of the people who view my channel and let me know what you think about wanting to visit Japan and places like that. Where do you want to visit? Where would you most want to go? Or have you been anywhere else? Like, have you been to another country already? 
And if you're one of my viewers, like I know I have some Australian viewers, some Martian viewers, and I think I had a couple from like New Zealand or something around that area. I can't remember. But I know I have several of you from other countries. And if you would like, comment below and let me know what your country is like. And if you think anybody should come visit your country. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this episode, give that like button and love a bullet. Bark at each other in the comments. Paw at that subscribe button if you want to keep up with me and all the howling that I do. And please, guys, invite your friends to come howl with us here on the channel. Because the puppy pack needs to grow. And we need your help to do that. Keep humble and hungry, my pups. I'll holla at you next time. So now, if we put this lever on it... There we go. Alright. And then we just empty it all back in here. <laughs> that actually made very pretty music like, most of the time. I would say the kinds of music I listen to are feel-good music. If it's a feel-good kind of song, it's gonna make me feel better, energetic, and smiley, and ready to get things done, and then, you know, 